Hey guys, and welcome to day 12 of Theta, I believe. So here's the deal. My sister, she's starting college this fall. She is going to move in early because she's in color guard and band practice starts on Monday. So she was told originally that she could move in on Sunday. So she, you know, was thinking all the time that she had all the time prepared, do the last minute shopping, do the last minute packing, you know, say goodbye to her friends, say goodbye to her boyfriend, say goodbye to us. Then last night about 11.30, she got an email from them saying that she can't move in Sunday and she has to do it today. Well, she's going to school in San Antonio, which is a three hour drive for us. So, right now, she is just freaking out about it because she was not ready. She wasn't done packing. She wasn't done buying everything. She didn't have a chance to say goodbye to everyone. My sister's just a very emotional person in general. Having to know the fact that she didn't have time to say goodbye to her boyfriend, didn't get that one last day with the family, it really hurt her. And then the fact that, like... I have been busy all week working on so I'm gone I work 9 to 5 and then with the drive I'm gone from about 8 30 in the morning until about 5 30 at night so she hasn't really got to see me and the last two days when I've come home she's been out with either her boyfriend or her friends or something so she's just a little freaking out and it's just a little sad that when I get home because they're leaving this morning that I'm gonna come home and she's not gonna be there. She doesn't even know if she'll be back until Christmas. She doesn't know if she'll be able to come back before that because of color guard. That sucks. Here's a little clip of her last night saying goodbye to you guys. Since you're leaving tomorrow, do you wanna say anything to my subscribers? Since you've been in so many of my videos. Well, hello to for no <laughs> slow zoom of the face. Um, what? What? Okay. Um. Just try to laugh without me. Yeah. Anything um, else? Um. Live a good life with no regrets. Have fun and always look on the bright side of life. Do 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 do. -do, 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 -do. But yeah, I was supposed to leave on Sunday, and I just got an email from the university saying, oh, well, like, I had been requesting this for, like, a week, trying to figure out what the hell, what the heck's going on, and they just sent me, like, late when I got back from hanging out with See, my friends. See, that is 12.09. That it is technically the 12th now. I know that I have to leave today, because otherwise I won't be able to get until Monday, and band camp starts Monday, and there's no way I can move in that day, and... So I didn't even get a chance to go on a last date, like, you know, for a while with my boyfriend, and it just really pissed me off, and I'm not ready, and I didn't get to spend a day with my family, <sighs> but, oh well, I guess it's probably for the better, because this way, because I'm really behind in, like, flags compared to college people, so maybe I can text one of the cabins to meet me up, if they can, if not, what I'm gonna do. Awesome. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube, for now. So the other thing I really wanted to talk about was, okay, so I love watching the Shaytards. I do. And I was watching, I'm really behind on YouTube just because I've been busy, and so I was watching a video, I think he posted like two days ago or something, where he said he was going on vacation. And basically, this one guy commented saying that Shay doesn't deserve a vacation because his job isn't that hard and that all he gets to do is make videos and play with his family. But here's the thing. YouTube is his full-time job. He makes his living off of YouTube. It is a job for him, okay? And yeah, maybe you don't think it's hard, but you know what? You Just because you do something that you enjoy and you love doing doesn't mean it's not hard. It's still a job. Like, he still has to make a video every day, and, you know, and then he comes up with other ideas for videos. I don't think it's fair to say he doesn't deserve a vacation with his wife. I mean, he, yeah, he does a lot of fun things, but it's for work. And so, so who cares if he wants to take a couple days with his 
wife. He's entitled to it, okay guys? Like, he still is doing this job. It's He wants a vacation, so what? He deserves it, okay? He works really hard. He basically, he can, you've seen, like if you watch some of his old videos, you know that at the very beginning, they didn't have a lot. And so it's kind of nice for him now to have this security, to have all this money, to, to be able to take a vacation away from his four kids. As much as he loves his four kids, I'm sure he wants to get away from them sometimes. I mean, every parent wants to get away every once in a while. So who cares? And to say he doesn't deserve a vacation because he's a daily vlogger and it's not that hard, you don't see everything that goes on during the day. Yeah, he makes a video every day but only to the parts that he wants you to see. He doesn't record the hard stuff. You know, he cuts out that stuff. He doesn't record it. Like, you know, he said that, you know, if you have a 15, 20 minute long vlog, he says he uses about 98% or whatever of the stuff he films in his videos, which means if it's only 15 minutes of his day, that's not his whole day. So you don't see the majority of what goes on for his so just to judge him and say something like that, it just, it, I, it, it doesn't seem fair. You don't know his life. You see part of his life, but unless you've lived it, you don't know his life. So you shouldn't be telling him what to do. That's all I got to say. All right. This rant is over. 